Hello, hello, my friends. How are you today? I swear on all of my videos, I'm going to put one o'clock ish because <laughs> since we have moved out here in the boonies, my internet is just sketchy. I don't know if you've noticed there's more start and stop and, and stuff happening. So I don't know. We have to have somebody come out here and figure it out because it's driving me nuts. I love to teach. This is like, this is fun for me. This is my, um, I enjoy it. And having the video stress me out for 14 minutes while I'm trying to go live. Not so call me. Anyway, so I've been putting on my oil, so I don't know what you put on. I got a little bit of lemon going on. It's summertime, so I always have to be really careful with it. So what I do with my lemon, um, all my citruses in the summer, I use them on my hair instead of on my skin because I love going outside. I'm a summer girl, and I don't want to get a burn. And if you use a citrus oil outside in the summer, it like magnifies the sunlight, and you're going to burn. So I can drink it in my water, no problem, but if I put it on my skin. So I put it on my hair. So I can sniff it and diffuse it. And uh, what else have I got going on today? So we are on day five, day five of our water fast. And it has been going wonderful. We do a lot of intermittent fasting, so we're kind of used to it. But um, we're, our goal is a 40-day spring-summer one. So it ended up being moved into the summertime. So we're going to go all of July and part of August for 40 days, believing that it's going to repair and, and take care of all the scar tissue that I have from being on that stinking ventilator so that I never have to be on action again. So today I also did different. I don't know if you'll notice. I don't even know if you ever notice, but I have no makeup on. Ah! Because this is all about our inner beauty, right? And so I have no Myra hair oil. I usually oil my hair so it doesn't have the flyaways. But I just wanted you to see that <laughs> healthy hair, healthy skin, all of those things. I have lotion on, so I don't, I don't want to fake that one. So I am a lotion girl. I wear a lot of lotion. I have my, this one is the Bloom lotion that I have on. But I rotate through several of the ones that we have. So I just wanted you to see, this is my before. So I started the... Uh, inner beauty collagen uh, the Saturday after it came out I started it and all I did is I add it to my red drink that's all I do or like right now I'm not doing as many different things in my red drink but I make sure I get it with my golden turmeric because that's phenomenal for the skin too and I, I'm getting it with my sulfur and all my parts and pieces I might write up exactly what I use mine in but I just put it in I also can just put it in my tea and I mix it up and I don't have a problem with it no flavor no anything so this is my before right here so we'll see what it looks like after doing it for you know a month and see if there's a difference but I have pretty even skin tone. I've been really blessed with that. And oh my gosh, it looks so weird not having makeup on. Um, I don't wear a lot, but anyway, on to what we're talking about. So in addition to um, this class that we're doing right now, there's an amazing challenge going on. It's the Inner Beauty Challenge. And it is started a couple of days ago. I think we're on day five today. There's so much information in that group. So if you're already in the group, give me that raised hand. Boop, I'm in, I'm in. If you are not in the group but you would like to be added, give me an add me. And we will get you added to the group because you there's so much information, not just on our inner beauty collagen, which I'm going to go deep on. We're going to talk about this. But it's also just overall things that you can be adding and doing. And there's a great video with um, Tom and Vanessa that are is phenomenal on the collagen. Like he's a nutrient specialist and just great stuff in there great stuff for your gut so make sure if you're already in it let me know if you're already taking your who's already taking your inner beauty defense defense oh my gosh inner beauty collagen who is already taking it um how do you feel about the flavor the texture all the things because personally i can't i can't taste it at all i did notice when i mixed it when i used um what's it called ice so i put it in i put water and ice in my cup and then i put this it did not break down as well it kind of stuck to the ice so if i just add it to my water first and then add my ice it eliminated that so i can take it and it's not something you have to take a ton of this is five grams of high quality collagen so just one scoop of this um once a day twice a day maybe in the beginning to give your body that little extra that's what i'm doing is twice a day but um anyways let's get on to it so um i'm also going to come back in and do one on um, what I do with the Myra hair oil and how you will see a difference from the little flyaways that I have and how when I use that, it really just tames it down and it's so good for you anyway. So, 
anyway, make sure you're getting your before and after picture up for your inner defense um, because it's just so powerful. So overall, our inner body um, collagen supports vibrant, like lit from within skin, healthy looking hair, nails. When you're doing your stuff, y'all do a check on your skin. So like get a picture and do, so your skin should bop back. That's what healthy skin, boom, boom, right straight down. And so when it doesn't, you can be dehydrated, but it can also be, um, collagen can make a difference in that. So we're not just talking beautiful face, like your face is it, we're talking neck, we're talking those arms, those elbows, you know, your elbows should be pretty and healthy and in the skin and all that. So get pictures of that. If you have some really dry, cracked, weird things, get pictures so that you know what did it, how it worked, all the different stuff. The other thing that I like is um, this helps to support your dermal layer after UV induced sun, sun damage. So if you are like me, I am a sun girl. I am outside at, as soon as the weather starts to get warm until it's too cold to be out there. Like blankets aren't helping anymore. I just love the sun, whole nother class. But the collagen, normal healthy collagen, promotes healthy skin, even with the UV. We're supposed to be able to absorb sunlight, so I think that's really powerful. It also promotes skin elasticity, so that the pinch test that I just said that you can do, so our hands should look as young as our face, right? So all of these are gonna help with it. So what I wanna do first is I wanna talk about collagen in general, because uh, collagen is, although it's not new, obviously, um, it's something new to Young Living, and so some of you may not be familiar with. So all collagen across the board is sourced from animals. There, <laughs> there is no such thing as vegan collagen. It is cracking me up, the stuff that I am seeing people post and say, it just isn't there. It comes from animals. And collagen makes up about 33% of the protein in your body right now. And by age 50, your collagen reserves have dropped by 50%, actually starts decreasing somewhere in your 20s. So this is one of those things that we need to make sure we're getting. Low collagen levels can look like saggy, crepey skin, uh, turkey neck, achy joints, bone on bone pain, irritated gut, that's collagen in general because your body needs so much of it. In 2000 years ago, collagen levels were replenished by eating skin, organs, simmered down bones of the animals, most common being things like cattle and horses and pigs and rabbits. We're talking nose to tail. And you hear people teaching nose to tail for diet and collagen is derived from animals. It's derived from their bones and their, their, their tails and their hide and their fins and their scales and their heads and their eyes and the, the cartilage, their nose, their ears, hoofs, all of those things are, are full of collagen. And in the olden days, you go back 2000 years ago, dude, they used the whole animal. They boiled the fish, the chicken, the beef bones to get every last ounce of nutrients out of them. And they would boil them for a couple of days. And what we do, so so collagen, so you know, it's the ground up parts of all of those things that we talked about. It's the ground up pieces and ground up pieces come out as a powder. They don't come out as a liquid. They have to be added to a liquid to turn into a liquid. So either um, you're buying it in a form that it comes in liquid or you are adding it to liquid when you add it to your drink or your tea or whatever you're adding it to, it's gotta be liquefied that way. And collagen is a protein. I, wanna, I want you to understand this. There's peptides, amino acids, proteins. Collagen is animal, it is a protein. It's not a complete protein source, meaning it doesn't have all nine essential amino acids, but if you get five grams of collagen, you should get five grams of protein on the label because it's a protein, kind of like um, if you eat beans or rice, they're not a complete protein, but it's still gonna show you the protein on the nutrition label. It's always there. And so you know, I mean, we only talk right now, we have type one collagen and type two collagen in Young Living, but there's around 28 different types of collagen that have been identified so far. They're always finding new things. For example, like um, egg collagen, which is located in the whites of the egg or the, the white membrane that's in there. It is mostly type one collagen, but it also includes type 10 collagen. 
Now, I am not going to go through all 28 types of collagen. The main ones that you're really going to hear about are your type 1, type 2, type 3 collagen. So I'm going to give you just a bibit on each of them, and I promise I will try to go fast. So type 1 collagen is kind of the strongest of the collagens. If you're looking for a collagen to support skin health, type 1 is going to be your top choice. Um, it's literally a, a building block, like scaffolding for the body. And type 1 collagen can be found in supplements featuring either bovine or fish collagen. By the way, fish collagen, you can, um, are interchangeable with fish collagen and marine collagen. So these are generally, uh, feature amino acids, including things like proline, glycine, hypodroxyproline. Uh, Those are the, some of the peptides that you're going to see in there, amino acids. And fish or marine collagen, which is type 1 collagen, they say is one and a half times more bioavailable. That's amazing. And it's really due to its teeny tiny small particle size. We're able to absorb it quicker. In about 12 hours after you ingest it, all of that collagen is sucked up and used by the body. That's huge. More than 90% of the collagen that you're going to find in your body is type 1 or type 3 together. Type 1 collagen is the most abundant protein in your body, and you're going to find it in ready your bones, your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments, organs, blood vessels, intestines, tissue, gums, teeth, eyes, skin, like all the places. So we're really going to be focusing on your beautiful, glorious face, your skin, your all the things on the outside. But understand, it's found in all of those parts of your body. And bovine collagen is also a type 1, but it's also type 3 collagen. And it's sourced from things like cowhide. Um, it's going to help more with things like your joint health as compared to skin, hair, nails that you're going to find from your marine collagens. Marine or fish collagen it comes from the skin, bones, head, eyeballs, uh, tail, uh, the bones, all those things of the fish. And it can help you increase your body's own natural collagen. So not only does taking collagen help all of your skin, it helps your body start kicking out some of its own. Like I said, it decreases as we age. It gives a little boost to that. We're going to talk a little bit more about marine collagen when we get into the inner beauty um, collagen so I can discuss what ours is and what parts of the fish that we use, even the fish that we do use. So we're going to come back to that. Then you have type 2 collagen. This is the major collagen found in cartilage. Cartilage is the connective tissue that protects the ends of your long bones, all of your joints, your knees, um, the back, this, all of the different places you're going to find cartilage. Even your nose and your ears, your bronchial tubes, your ribs, those are all collagen heavy. I mean cartilage heavy. Since type 2 collagen helps form cartilage that protects our joints, it really makes sense that this is the type of collagen that Gary used to make our BLM. Our BLM is think um, to help you remember bones, ligaments, and muscle, BLM, right? It helps you kind of click that in your head. And it is a blend. It's a, a supplement with glucosamine sulfate, uh, type 2 collagen made from chicken sternum, chondroitin sulfate, uh, MSM, like we talk about um, our, our, oh my gosh, our sulfurzyme, MSM is in there. It also has the oil of balsam fir, wintergreen, it has manganese, which is a supplement, and then it's got clove essential oil. That's all in our BLM. So that's where you're going to get some of that type 2 for bone and joints, right? But then we have our Agilis. Our Agilis is another one that is packed full of the beautiful type 2 collagen. And it, our Agilis, again, it's for agility. Think agile, agility. I've got the ability to move and do the things, right? Our, the primary ingredient there is Frankincense resin powder. And I know this isn't the class for it, but y'all look it up. Frankincense resin powder is a powerhouse. It has black pepper, which partners with so many different things, like the turmeric that's in there. It has type 2 collagen, the undenatured, so it's in its natural form for absorption. Glucosamine, it has hyaluronic acid. We'll talk more on that one because it's a powerhouse. It's also in our inner beauty, so we'll hit that. Calcium fruit, uh, calcium, uh, calcium, turmeric, wintergreen, copa eva, clove, black spruce. So if you're looking for some cartilage, I'm sorry, or some uh, collagen that's good for joints, those are the two you're going to want to grab. Chicken collagen, which is that same thing, that sternum we talked about, inherently features chondroitin sulfate and glucosamine sulfate. So you see it's naturally in there, which are both really popular in any health and joint, um, healthy joint supplement that you see. Because chicken collagen also contains hyaluronic acid, and we will hit more on that in, um, that in, in a few minutes, probably about three minutes from now. It lubricates. So this is what it does. It lubricates in... Um, 
cushions your joints so that they're able to move. Kind of think of a, a shock absorber. That's what's happening inside there. Now, some of the big problems I see with some of the other collagen companies is they only contain type 2 collagen. And considering the fact that type 1 collagen makes up 90% of the collagen found in your body, I am so grateful that Young Living brought us type 1 because it is a nutrient that y'all, we absolutely have to get in our body. So I'm thrilled that they've added that. Type 3 collagen usually works in tandem with type 1 collagen. It's in the bones, it's in the cartilage, it's in things like your bone marrow, connective tissue, skins, organs, all the things. In the body, type 3 collagen is usually found in the same location as type 1 collagen. And kind of like type 1, it's, it's usually in any supplement that somebody is doing for healthy skin, it is added to that. And bovine collagen, which is derived from muscles, the bones, the skin, um, all the different parts of the cow, is another collagen option that features mainly type 1 and type 3. But again, it's the bigger molecule, so we can't get as much absorption from it. And these are the two most, so you know, type 1 and type 3 are the two most abundant types of collagen in your body. So let's get specific with our inner beauty collagen. So first, there are zero fillers, zero preservatives, um, zero, it's artificial, color, no artificial colorings, like all the stuff. This is a really big deal. I like knowing that every ingredient that is listed in here is not just a filler ingredient. It's not just an extra to make the bottle look big or give it flavor. This is an unflavored, completely unflavored, and I love that I know that that quality is there. It's big deal. Odorless, tasteless, all the things. So we do use the type 1 marine collagen, the fish collagen peptides. We only use the skin and the scales. So although I talked about the head and the eyeballs and the tails from that head to toe, we only use the skin and the scales and it's from, um, people are constantly asking what kind of fish. It is tilapia, crimson, snapper, saddletail, um, carp, cod, pollock, golden threadfin, milkfish, and sea perch. And all of those are sourced from sustainable, clean fish. This is really important to know. It We take a highly soluble form of a bioavailable type 1 collagen, and we use a proprietary hydrolysis. That means we break it apart, and we don't use any harsh chemicals in that process. There's no solvents in there. That's why it's odorless and tasteless, and it comes out is a powder that is exactly what's added in here and every other ingredient that we're getting ready to talk about those are in there for a purpose not just a filler for a purpose so you've got things like your peach ceramides those are extracted from japanese peaches um, it helps with hydration in your skin it decreases the dryness the peach ceramides and ceramides are a type of lipid that concentrates in the skin and it has a really strong affinity for water so think like a sponge it's like a barrier a sponge that gives that moisture and that elasticity so that crepey goes away C ceramides are actually produced by your own skin and when we take them in, they go directly back to the skin and they protect your skin and they give that beautiful elasticity we're supposed to have. And that, again, that's one of those things that depletes as we age. So think of a 20 year old's face and a 50 year old's face. These are just the parts that are missing. Ceramides also help to literally hold your skin firm. So it tightens it up, that uppermost layer, and it helps to keep the fluid in so that it gets that, that puff that we're supposed to have, that beautiful, healthy skin. It also protects it from things like allergens and anything external, and it helps to support against hyperpigmentation. So think of the, the age spots, the things that we can get, or the bright red colors, and um, this just helps to balance that. So that's one of the ingredients. So actually, it's two, the type 1 marine collagen, and then we had the peach ceramides, and we're going to talk about tapioca fiber. Now, tapioca fiber is actually in a couple of different supplements that Young Living has because it is a beautiful prebiotic fiber that your gut just loves. So our tapioca fiber is extracted from the cassava root and it is harvested sustainably in Thailand. It's all good stuff in this prebiotic fiber. So we have all of this gut flora, all of these critters that live in our gut, right? And what a prebiotic does is it feeds them so that they can multiply so that there is an abundance of all of this good flora and why do you care because a good healthy microbiome helps improve mood it helps with your energy it helps with focus it helps with appetite it helps with a normal inflammatory response healthy cholesterol weight management all those things come from a beautiful healthy microbiome and that tapioca fiber is 
food for them. It's the reason why we're going to see so many different things because you're going to get more absorption from the foods that you're taking in. Things like superoxide dismutase. That's another amazing ingredient that is in here. So superoxide dismutase is one that we talk about when we talk about Ninja Red. It's this amazing antioxidant enzyme that is actually produced through fermentation. So you know how we talk about fermented things and how good they are? Superoxide dismutase plays this major role in fighting free radical damage and the inflammation that comes from that. It is a powerful enzyme. It forms like this front line of defense against all that free radical damage that we talked about. If you don't know what antioxidants, free radical damage, I've got a, a video that I will post um, in the comments of this that goes over what they are and why it matters. This enzyme is so necessary for your body. It helps to decrease all of the um, all of the buildup of free radicals that happen. And when you're using superoxide dismutase and you're getting this into your body, your body has that normal that those enzymes that helps us to have that normal healthy inflammatory response. So when we twist an ankle or we hurt our wrist, our body is able to go in and do the things and fix it because it has a normal response. It helps with your beautiful brain, your thoughts, your clarity, your memory, overall brain function. Not to mention healthy, beautiful heart so your heart is doing its thing. This enzyme helps to speed up chemical reactions in your body and plays a critical role in just reducing that oxidative stress so that our body can function the way it was designed and created. Needed to uh, free radical the S uh, superoxide dismutase also helps with that free radical damage including what happens on our skin so the appearance of your skin and that aging this is one of those that helps us so that we age healthy it works with the wrinkles fine line age spots all of those different things it helps um, the wound healing so that we have normal healthy wound healing uh, it helps to soften scar tissue and protect against UV rays all the things now that hyaluronic acid that's the next one that's the one that is in our BLM and it's in the different um, ones for your joints this ingredient truly helps to support um, hydration it helps reduce the appearance of the fine lines the wrinkles gives you that youthful skin that we're all looking for it's like this jelly like substance that literally goes in and hydrates the skin from the inside out it even works with your beautiful eyes and helps to hydrate your eyes and fill them out it helps with the tissue around your nerves and on um, the synovial fluid that we're supposed to have in our joints it acts like that cushion that lubricant we're supposed to have um, the hyaluronic acid helps our body respond to injury in um, so we, we respond normal. It helps to decrease any of that puffiness that's going on. It acts like a humectorant in the skin, so it helps to keep your skin beautiful and moisturized. And then we've got vanilla. Our vanilla is a unique form of vanilla that's not extracted. It's not, um, it's not like an absolute. It doesn't have alcohol or anything in there. This is from directly from, uh, what are they called? Oh my gosh. Uh, hand, pollen, uh, hand pollinated orchard blossoms and it supports a healthy inflammatory response. It helps to soothe and calm the skin. It is beautifying. It has been used to encourage wound healing. It contains a polyphenol called vanillin, vanillin, not vanilla, vanillin, which is a powerful antioxidant. It helps with normal healthy bacteria. It gives a little boost to the libido in case you didn't know. It's even, science even says that um, it may help with the PMS systems because symptoms because it helps improve the mood. It relieves that occasional stress that we get. Think of the calming effect of when you do something like our uh, stress away and how it helps relax and calm you and all those things. Also in here we have biotin or B7. You know I am a huge fan of the vitamin Bs. I teach on them all the time. This is a vital part of healthy metabolism and creating important enzymes in your body. Biotin is used to strengthen your hair, your skin, your nails. So this whole time, everything we've been talking about, we've been talking about skin. I, I also want you to know our nails are supposed to grow and be healthy and we should have healthy cuticles. All of these things we're talking about partner with that. B7, again, hair, nails, all the things. B7 also really feeds the brain, so you know. B7 is needed for the formation of things like fatty acids and glucose metabolism, which are the things we use for energy in our body. Uh, by, oh no, my battery's running low. I have to talk so much faster. Biotin.
tin good, buy a tin dry skin, uh, just all the itchy, dry, uh, big tongue, biotin, big ones. Vitamin C is also in here necessary for the growth and development of your entire body. It's involved in every single function, y'all. I'm not going to go deep on vitamin C. Everybody knows we need it. When you think of your skin and vitamin C, think of brightening. Um, think of how it reduces redness, hyperpigmentation, the appearance of the dark circles under the eyes. It helps with collagen production, helps prevent that sagging that happens, sun damage, um, sunburns, wound healing. It helps to restore that. Then we've got zinc gluconate in there. This supports collagen synthesis. That's what helps with the glowing skin. Zinc is a part of that critical role in all cell development, wound healing, immunity, uh, protein synthesis. Um, for your taste and your smell to work, you need the zinc. This is um, it's for healthy wound healing. So it happens like it's supposed to. Normal inflammatory response. Um, eyeballs. Your eyeballs love zinc. You can research that another day. It helps with... Um, uh, uh, acne scars in the stuff that leaves with it zinc helps with that for that scarring so how do you take our collagen so you could take just one scoop a day totally you can also what I'm doing is like a loading phase so I'm doing it twice a day I'll probably do that for four to six weeks but you do you if you need to make it last longer just do your one a day and you will see some amazing things again if you want to be added to that inner beauty challenge 